Hi, I'm Clinton Jones, Michigan State University College Hall of Fame in football and track and field, and also National College Football Hall of Fame. We are national champions in 1965 and 1966. You are watching Duffy Doherty's Milestone Minutes with Tom Shanahan. Go Green! <laughs> Welcome to Duffy Doherty's Milestone Minutes. The 1989 football season wrapped up with Houston's Andre Ware, the first black quarterback Heisman Trophy winner, and the Raiders' Art Shell, the first black NFL head coach. In 2022, USC's Caleb Williams was the ninth black quarterback to win the Heisman Trophy, and the Panthers' Steve Wilkes, the 20 fifth black NFL head coach upon his promotion to interim head coach at midseason. This may surprise you, but Duffy Doherty has a milestone connection to both of them through Jimmy Ray. Doherty recruited Ray out of segregated Fayetteville, North Carolina. He was the South's first black quarterback to win a national title. When Doherty hired Ray on his Michigan State staff in 1972, Ray joined Sherman Lewis, who was hired in 1969 by Duffy. Doherty had two black assistant coaches at a time other schools were getting around to hiring their first black assistant. When Ray moved on to the NFL with the 49ers in 1977, there were only seven other black assistant coaches in a 2018 league. When Rams coach John Robinson named Ray his offensive coordinator in 1983, there had been only one other black NFL coordinator. But it's taken all these years later for Ray to finally receive his due. In June, at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, Ray was presented with the NFL's inaugural Awards of Excellence. Hall of Famer Dan Fouts, the moderator, praised Ray for his perseverance, Dan's word. And during Black History Month, NFL 360, a film division of the NFL, is airing a documentary, The Jimmy Ray Project a story of a man who carved a path for black players and coaches. Note, players and coaches. Pioneers don't often get the credit they deserve because they were ahead of their time. I've criticized the NFL Network and the Big Ten Network for thinking the only successful black coaches are Tony Dungy and Dennis Green. You can't hold that against Jimmy Ray and Sherman Lewis that they never received a legitimate chance at becoming a head coach. And remember, Dungy considers Ray a mentor. The football media has missed this story for a half century. One reason was Ray played on Michigan State's 1965 and 1966 national title teams, a period when the media avoided race in sports stories. Black milestones were missed. Another reason is the media was duped by myths and fiction surrounding the 1970 USC Alabama game. Myths and fiction that weren't crafted until 20 years after the game was played. The media fell for the fraud, the shiny bobble. It has been spread unvetted so far and for so long, NFL commentator Charles Davis uttered this egregiously inaccurate comment in a 2019 ESPN film. 
about Michigan State and Duffy Doherty. Quote, for Duffy Doherty, it wasn't just about being progressive and being Abraham Lincoln. Duffy was about winning football games. Unquote. That's laughable summary of Doherty's leadership. He cleared the way for the future and encountered a lot of abuse along the way. I'll put my research up against anybody, anytime, anywhere. You can read my research in my first book on college football integration, Ray of Light. There's a link to purchase on my website, tomshanahan.report. And you'll soon be able to purchase my second book about the true 1960s pioneers of college football integration. The right thing to do. Thank you.